it's interesting because I knew William. I grew up with men like him. Um, a large part of him is uh, inside me already. So it was more about reaching inside and remembering the men that I grew up with like him, the similarities you, you, you automatically reach for. What is it about this character that is about me, you know, that's similar to me? And, but uh, the layered part of it, I just felt like I knew him so well from all the different men that I grew up with. Um, also him being an artist, a jazz musician, which um, I'm a jazz aficionado. Uh, um, I've run these streets all over New York, going to different jazz clubs over the years, you know, from the Village Gate to the Vanguard, you know, to Birdland. So um, I felt that was close to me. The fact that he had Southern roots, my family had Southern roots, um, and also the illness, you know. Um, my best friend, um, and I say this in tribute to him, passed away yesterday from this dreaded disease. So he was in Los Angeles and we would talk every day. I would go on set, do the role of William and come back and get on the phone and talk with him. And he was so proud of me, you know, and uh, so I, I, I watched him deteriorate over the time that uh, he was with us at the end. So that was very uncanny and, 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 and kind of surreal, you know. Um, but uh, it, it, it was a, a big part of also uh, how I got a lot of the mannerisms and, and uh, looks of uh, the layers of the man um, because it was in my best friend as I would talk to him, would sit down and we would have coffee together. So, but initially the character was just, I just knew him so well. So many men like him that I grew up with, you know, um, from country to city to country, you know. I'm so very sorry for your loss. Thank you, um, thank you. The beautiful thing about the show, though, is that it really relates to actual things that happen in every person's life, every family's life, well, and it touches a, on those, yeah, those it's real been an, stories. It's been a healing process yeah. for a lot of people, and also for myself, you know, but the feedback that I get on the streets when people come up to me all the time, and it's like, I, I just felt like it was so healing, and I wanted to be able to say that to my uncle or my aunt or my mother before she passed, or... You know, I had the same feelings growing up, you know, um, with someone in their family. So uh, it's been a healing process and a beautiful thing, you know, uh, to be able to touch people in that way um, and feel like it's been a healing process also. So that even makes it more special, you know. Um, but the writing, the writing was just, it's just awesome writing because it's so layered and it's everything that an actor wants to do, you know. Um, find those layers in, in the humanity of, of him. And I think that's what people are relating to, you know, they're feeling the, those feelings that we usually suppress on a daily basis, you know. Um, usually we turn on the TV to get away from our feelings, you know. We go to a movie or hear some music or um, go out with friends and have drinks, you know, to, to not feel. Uh, but this show is allowing people to actually feel and talk about their feelings. and. Sometimes we suppress a lot of stuff that we don't know is there, our fears. Um, so it's bringing out a lot of that. And so that's the beauty, I think, of the show and the writing. 